So, good morning. Good morning, everybody. I'm gonna give you the side eye so I can get a thumbnail. Yeah. Can... Hopefully it took a picture of us doing that. <sighs> How's everybody doing? Hey, it like rained like, um, like Cats the hurricane eyes. landed on Lake yeah. Superior. <laughs> I'm exaggerating, it didn't really. But it like for the very first time, a hurricane actually like made some form of landfall in Michigan. Really? Did you know that? I did not know that. I know that my husband is over the moon about the rain. Hashtag farmer life. <laughs> I've never known. Did you know? Here's a fact for you. Did you know how many inches of snow we would have gotten with if it rained three inches? That equates to if it had snowed, how many inches of snow? Probably 22. 30. Oh, I would have lost my mind. So excited. She loves snow. Oh, <clears throat> would have been great. Yeah. Are, you, are you getting all set up here? You know, I'm just getting set up and pouring some coffee. Mm -hmm. um, I still feel like I'm not on your screen, so I'm just going to throw that out there. Okay. Thank you. Can no. we be together? No, I'm not. <clears throat> okay. Sorry. Okay. I had to clear my throat. I know that you're chasing. Look at where, are we even today? <laughs> Ready? Ready? Wait, wait three. for it. One, two, three. I'm as low as it can go. <laughs> this is what we... <laughs> This is, I'm on the okay, lowest Okay, so now raise it up. We've got great <clears throat> gift. Who gave us this, these gifts? Heidi Brom and Brenda, Brenda Petru. Petru. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Because oh gosh, it makes so her life so much easier. She's not sitting on... So if she's naughty, I'm just going to reach over and I'm going to pull a handle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. When she starts talking about Patrick Swayze and getting <clears throat> all yeah. crazy. So we have our new stools. They are... Hey, Corinna's here. How cool is that? Yeah, say um, hey when you're hopping on. We have, we are, I don't have to sit on a file folder or a car seat anymore, and that's pretty darn exciting. Whitney can have her booster seat back. I feel like that's good forward progress. You She's know. This wrong. is episode 35, so I feel like, you know. <laughs> is it really number 36, 36 I think. 36, that's amazing. 36. I remember the first one. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, talk about rough. We're still working our way out. Wow. Okay. Well, you. I know you've been up to trouble over there. I can feel it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you going to behave? No, I don't think so. So I have a question for you. Okay. Uh-huh. What were your favorite TV commercials? Do you remember any from the 90s? Do you even remember your childhood? Save big money at the NARS. <laughs> that was my favorite. Actually, we didn't really watch a lot of TV. So um, did I have a favorite commercial? No. Nope. But you probably were very entertained by them. I can see that you have favorites. Well, I mean, the 60s, were, it was pretty exciting. And it wasn't, I think, until the late 60s that we actually got a TV that I remember. I don't know. My siblings would probably correct me. But it was like a little black box. It was black and white. It was pretty cool. Anyway, I was thinking about some of the commercials that we used to watch versus the ones that you watched. And you watch things about, like, games. Like, I made a list here. Like... <clears throat> hungry Hungry Hippos yeah. and the Easy Bake Oven. I can kind of remember that. Um, you know, pretty much. I didn't look at the ones that were totally geared also for adults, but there was like, Yo Kiro Taco Bell. I can't even say that right. Do you remember that? I just feel like our childhood was like, we were either running around in the basement because it was too hot or we were running out outside. That's Shooting what each other with BB guns? That's true. Uh, water balloon launchers. <clears throat> potato guns. Potato guns. Launching eggs and golf balls with slings. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so anyway... Uh, <laughs> You apparently spent more time. <clears throat> so in the 60s, it was like women talking about cleaning products like Cheer. And it was... Um, what was the actual name of it? The product. It was the laundry Cheer? detergent was Cheer. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should have like a drink. Every time Amy says something dumb, we should take a sip of our beverages. And not spit them out. But it's true. <clears throat> so yeah, um, and it was and, also Anna saying, "Where's the beef?" Was that a commercial? Oh, where's the? Beef? Oh come on! I thought she was being funny. Is that like a thing? No, where's which the beef? Anne was saying that. Anne Gallner. Oh, I hope I said goodness. that right. Yeah. Um, where's the beef? Mm -hmm. But also for us, it was like, um, but Elka Seltzer and Pepto Bismol, and it was all those crazy things. Now um, we just skip commercials. The like people don't have to watch them. Gosh, I'm like, sorry. There's no mute button. <sighs> <clears throat> <clears throat> things are blooming here. Um, yeah, so Maxwell House Coffee, lots of women talking about coffee. But the reason that I brought this up is I wanted to know if you remember the Copper Tone commercial. No. Do you know anything about the reference to Copper Tone? Well, it's what you put on to make yourself more tan, right? Hmm, interesting. Yeah. Or is it sunscreen, or did they make both? Well, in the beginning, it started out, the, the ad was actually very, like, considered racial. It was, don't be a pale face. Tan was their byline. 
I know. Can you believe that? And oh it was gosh. like, I just got so sweaty that you even said that out loud. Okay. Okay. I just, I'm not like starting a big thing. I'm just saying that um, things were weird back in the day. And um, they, it was actually like a tanning aid. It was supposed oh. to help you be more tan. Then it evolved into uh, sunscreen. Um, but the, the ad for the sunscreen was a dog um, jumping up and grabbing the little girl's ruffled bathing suit. Well, I can picture like the logo. We got people talking about the Wendy's commercial. And yes, this is a coffee drinking game and yeah. you do need to go get yours. Because yeah. I'm going to say lots of really weird things. So yeah, it was um, then in 19, so it started out in 56, then in 63, it was get the fastest tan, use copper tone. Huh. Um, so um, where are we going here? We're going towards sunscreens today. That's what we're going to talk about. Yeah, we're talking about some summer stuff and some sun tips. Um, so I'm the mama. And I'm the Mimi. And this is Mama and Mimi in the morning. We do this live every Wednesday morning at 9.30 a.m. Central Standard Time. We do a giveaway every week. We're here to share tips for health and wellness, but we also like to give away some things too and have fun. So you can get an entry for the giveaway by watching watching live and saying hello and sharing your favorite commercial. Wendy's was one. Um, you can comment hashtag replay if you're catching the replay and you can get an extra entry by sharing this out. Okay. Life cereal. If Miley likes it, everybody likes it. Do I thought know? it was Mike. Mikey. Mikey. Not Miley. Oh, Mikey. It got, she got auto-corrected. <laughs> Autocorrect, autocorrect. I again. not remember Miley. Okay, so let's announce our giveaway winners from last week. Well, nothing could really beat last week. Patrick Swayze. We had the most views we have ever had. Please tell me you guys went and watched the actual music video because it will change. What was he even singing about? Roller skates? Why was he singing? He wasn't singing. It was just bad. Was it him just music. dancing? He was dancing and snapping his belt. He did snap. So I, and then he puts it around his leg and he like pulls his leg back up. It's really good. He's being very seductive with the belt. So anyway, um, we, I said, Amy said, if somebody, um, you know, that you should say instead of hashtag replay, if you watched it, hashtag Patrick Swayze. And Kathleen Jenkins, you were the only person that did that. And since I break the rules and I pick for however I want when people are um, posting, I chose you. So Congratulations. And my winner was Carly Reynolds. And I think honorable mention goes to Laura Whipperman for sharing Jimmy Fallon's um, version of I have a brand new pair of roller skates. Yeah, yeah. And you sang that battle. too. I don't know that we can beat it. I don't know that it can. I still haven't told Gary what we were talking about. So if we could just he hasn't keep it. seen it? If we could just keep it under wraps, it'd oh be good. My, my silly comment about him wearing a belt. <laughs> keep it under wraps. Gary, okay. get your belt on. What happens on Mama Mimi stays on Mama Mimi. Gary, get your belt on. That okay. Was awesome. Moving on. Okay. Summer tips. So we are going to talk a little <laughs> bit about sun, like prote protection, protection from the sun. So there are all different schools of thought on this, and I'm just going to mm -hmm. say I'm not a dermatologist. We're not doctors. We're just offering what we know from what we've studied. Um, and I'm going to say that some people really feel that sunscreen is like the scourge of the earth and no one should ever, ever wear it. Um, and that you should be out getting vitamin D um, and having your body heal and everything. And other people wear it consistently. I kind of fall right in the middle of that. Mm -hmm. And so what we're going to talk about is uh, how to wear sunscreen, what products we recommend, and then Amy's going to talk about a natural way to uh, use a sunscreen. Or I see that own. you have a shot glass. I do. So Can I think you're going to have to explain this because we were talking about drinking yeah. coffee, not anything else. I walked else. in with a shot glass and it says doTERRA on it. Isn't that awesome? It's for taking a little shot of your oils. Just for um, yeah. So um, the, what do you think the proper amount of sunscreen is that you should apply to your body? For my large body, I would say Hello? two tablespoons. <laughs> you're so funny. I I have to like look to the side and think. I actually think that this holds about two tablespoons. Do you think that's what it is? How much is a shot? Maybe a little oh. bit more. I don't know. So um, it, there are people that go into like how many centimeters of skin you have. So like you're supposed to put on two milligrams per square centimeter of no, skin, I right? I can't even way. go there. Can't go there. But um, I would say a shot glass for your entire body for an adult. And of this um, oh, amount, gosh. you should use about um, a nickel size for your face and neck which translates to about a half a teaspoon. I don't use that much. Some of the sites say you should actually measure for your face and your neck. Very, very important um, to, to consider that. So do you do that? I've got some room for improvement. Put it on. I say we're really good about applying it and keeping it on the girls, but room, room for improvement. So you're supposed to apply it to dry skin 15 minutes before you go out and you're supposed to reapply every two hours. And that, my friends, is where we fall down. Um, I put it on first thing in the morning underneath my makeup. I put on my skin, my neck, 
What's your right favorite here. brand? That's oh. what we're, we're well, about I'm getting to there. I'm getting there. Oh, oh holy cow. Jumping on Jumping that. up. I want to know what um, you use. So, yeah, we love Blue Lizard. I'm going to um, have to hold that for I you. Know, uh, just a second. I've got a prop here that we're waiting. Something just crashed. It's a what? This prop could be used mm. as okay. a weapon. Okay, so we love Blue Lizard sunscreen. Um, BlueLizardSunscreen.com. Go and look. It's made in Australia. We buy it by the gallon. This is not a joke. I feel like, you know what, you know what I think we should do today? You know, it's been two hours, so I think I'm going to have to apply. Oh, do you think that I'm wasn't kidding? enough. I know. Oh, what the hey, After I just talked about you're that. You're very judgmental. So make sure you shake your gallon. It's like a gallon of paint. You have to shake it. So it comes um, in different size bottles. We've worn the label off, but what's really cool about these bottles. Mm, this is cool. Is that they're actually called... They change. Smart bottles. They have a patented thing. They change color when exposed to UV rays. So if you're not sure if it's really like the time that you should be concerned about wearing it, put the bottle outside near you and you'll find out how... You can put an app on your phone too. Yes. Are you scooping Ah, uh, I didn't know. I, I promise. This all figured out. I'm just going to sit here and sip my coffee. <laughs> Goodbye. Everybody. This is what it wheels. And then she rolls out. Okay. Um, so yeah, you can put an app on your phone. It's called UVI. Um, it's an app. It's amazing. It's and, really helpful. And we use that too. Um, but I would recommend that you get, so I did some math, which is crazy for me. Actually, Bad Bob helped me. Yeah, you but didn't do math. If you're Dad, buying then. like containers like this over and over and over again, which you should be because you should be going through this and you shouldn't keep it from season to season in your hot car because it's going to affect the quality of it. But if you buy this, it's like um, $2.21 an ounce with, I'm sorry, three thirty nine dollars an ounce. You save over a dollar per ounce when you buy it this way. We love buying per ounce. And then you can just fill it up, fill all your friends' bottles, uh, do a sunscreen party. But here's the tip, guys. When you put your sunscreen on, put it in your hand, put it on your face and your neck, your chin, down here and let it sit for a couple minutes go do something else because you're gonna look pretty white and then rub after it's soaked in rub it back in all right and double you that way I don't put it on twice I just I'm overwhelmed oh my gosh it's so simple put it on and then let it sit there and then rub it back in okay we're gonna have to set up a sunscreen application station right now we just have a yeah. drawer but we're gonna have to up the ante yeah and it's really it's great reapply it use it frequently it will save your skin if you have a sensitivity to the Sun it's great to use, and we believe in ruffle butts and ruffle rugged butts. That too. Okay, so my mom fills sunscreen for all of her um, children and grandchildren mm -hmm. out of this, like literally Gary's like, go refill our sunscreen. And she gets us all, all the girls, this won't fit me, um, ruffle butts. So here's a little ruffle butt. So these swimsuits have the protection in them that the girls need and it's a lifesaver to be able to just send them out and not have to do so much sunscreening. I've got long sleeves, it's amazing. Long sleeves are easy, the girls love them. Zella has a little one and um, these have been super helpful so that is really helpful to have that added in. So I'm always grateful. If you're a grandparent and you're looking for an awesome mm -hmm. gift, take note of the way that uh, Mimi over here gives really practical, helpful gifts to help us with our kiddos. I think the thing that you need to remember is um, if, you're, if you're hesitant to put sunscreen on, at least put it on your face, your neck, and your chest, backs of your hands. That's, That's what the dermatologist say. told me. This is what we use on our girls, and Whitney knows, like, I just come at her, and I literally, like, wipe it down her face, and we never have a problem with, like, it stinging your oh, eyes. Remember gosh. that growing up? Like, it would run in your eyes, and you'd be like, my eyes! Oh, it was horrible, and then your kid didn't want to go out, and they cried, and it ruined Oh, the so whole bad. Outing. I've never had that with the girls, so this is really easy to, it's a little harder to pin Zella down, but it's super easy that way. And some of you may or may not know what EWG is, but it's Environmental Working Group, and these are the people that rate products based on their safety, based on different components. Some people love EWGs, some people don't, but the reason that Bob and I chose this product is it rates with a number two, the sensitive skin formula rates with a two on That's EWG, a good which is a really good number. You Their scale low. goes from um, one to 10. So um, we're really, really happy. It's mineral, it's, there are no chemically active ingredients, it's dermatologist recommended, and no parabens, and it's fragrance free. So she if loves you, sunscreen. Well, I, I just feel like I do. I get sun in other ways, and I also take vitamin D3. That's for a whole nother video. But um, I do think it's important. I don't want to be wrinkly. I really want yeah, to have, have nice skin. I want to keep it nice. So I've been getting um, quite a few messages from people who are burnt to a crisp. Oh, <laughs> they my either didn't get their sunscreen on or they had a child that didn't get their sunscreen on. It happens. So let's talk about some sun relief oils, some things that would be really.
Sorry, that was potential spam calling me. <laughs> okay, so the three oils. Um, if nothing else, use your lavender. Everybody has it. Swiss Army knife, so good. Soothing, healing, love it, okay? But if I'm gonna give you, these are the three oils that I really would recommend using would be lavender, frankincense, and peppermint. Because mm -hmm. then you not only get the healing um, and the soothing, but you get that cooling of the peppermint. Okay, so those are perfect. I am the kind of person that puts a fraction of coconut oil in my hand, puts the oils in, and applies it. If you are needing this all the time, maybe make a spray with fraction of coconut oil. Hopefully you're oils. using your sunscreen and you're not needing it all the time. And um, you might wanna make something ahead of time. Uh, it's good to have a moisturizing agent in there. I wouldn't mm -hmm. add it to water and spray it on necessarily. Mm -hmm. I would use your fractionated coconut oil. You could add vitamin E oil if you wanted. There's a really great whipped body butter lotion recipe. It actually comes from um, Dr. Axe. And you can add your oils into it. It has like shea butter mm -hmm. and jojoba and your coconut oil. So it's good to have those, okay? Mm -hmm. um, but those are the three oils. Do you know what oil I would add in if I was really going to take it over the top? I would guess a sandalwood. Sandalwood is good. Helichrysum is oh. really good. And also you could use Roman chamomile if you have mm. that. So you mm. could just take it up a level if you wanted with those, okay? So some people want to make their own sunscreen. And I just would say the jury's out on that. Um, I have a recipe uh, that has like olive oil, coconut oil, beeswax, shea butter, um, zinc oxide. It says look for the non-nano and helichrysum, peppermint, and lavender. Um, because mm -hmm. they actually, I have a little Helichrysum has here. some. Yeah, it has an SPF value, or wait, um, yeah, I have uh -huh. a chart that shows SPF values, and uh, lavender essential oil says 5.6. Who would, pretty who, low. <laughs> who knew, though? Yeah. Um, but all that to say, I've always been skeptical, and I certainly would never make homemade sunscreen and put it on a child and send them to the pool or the beach for the day. For like 11 to 2? Yeah, not a, not a good idea. Maybe try it at a different time, but we did. We were in Mexico, and we a lady got in the elevator, and I honestly have never seen such a horrible sunburn. I was like... I was gaping at her. We don't even have anything. I don't have anything that red. It's as red as she was. It was like gross red. She and really and she like, she turned and looked at us and her face was like, because it was all fried. And um, she's, she's like, I like, use my homemade sunscreen. And we went, oh, oh my gosh. And the, she got off the elevator and the door's closed. And I was like, never, never make homemade sunscreen. So do that at your own risk. But I do have a recipe for that. Um, I think it's really important. We're all about education to educate people about photosensitivity. Okay, so there are certain oils that you can use that will make your skin more sensitive to the sun. You could be more prone to burn. You could it could turn your skin maybe a darker color, maybe a um, make rash. it irritated, a little, a little rash. Okay, so it's very important to be aware of this. And you can like I have a link to a list from DoTerra of the oils. Here's the bottom line: if you look on the back of the bottle, it tells you. Okay, so if you're wondering, look at the back of the bottle, and it will say avoid UV rays, UV exposure. Mm -hmm for 12 hours. Um, Bergamo is phototoxic. I went 48 hours on that 72, one. 72, babe. 72. 72. So you really need to be aware of this. You can still use it aromatically. You can use it internally. But if you're going to put on an oil topically in the summer when you're going to be out in the sun, you need to consider checking the back and keeping an eye on it. Do you know what oil? It starts with a C. It's photosensitive and you would never guess. I wonder if you guys can guess. Can you guess what oil starts with a C that's photosensitive that you wouldn't think is I'm going to guess cardamom. Nope. Boo. You guys guess. The first person to get it right now, you have to be quiet. The first person to get it right, I'll give you something. A little extra giveaway, okay? While you're thinking about that, I'm going to say, think not only of the oils you're using in the mm -hmm. summer, but think of the oil product. Uh -huh. Think of the lotions and the creams. Think about everything you're using that might have an essential oil in it. Look at the label. Like um, the new Citrus Bloom products you have to check and the beautiful body spray. Mm -hmm. Like all great things, but you just have to be aware of this. And this is why education so ma it matters so much. That's why we do this. Yes. And then I'll have somebody reach out to me and say, well, I never knew. And I'm like, have you ever attended our education? Um, citronella, no. Cinnamon, no. Keep guessing. Keep guessing, people. I'll look back in the recording. Um, so let's talk quickly about what we have coming up. One of my favorite classes uh, for our Saturday morning continuing education, stress, sleep, and emotions. It's mm -hmm. a good one. That's this Saturday morning at 9.30, free, 30 minutes, packed with great info. If you want the registration link for that, you need to comment below, I am stressed. <laughs> so <laughs> I know what to send you, okay? Or look for the newsletter that you may have gotten in your news, in your, in your email that went to junk. Yep. Um, so that's coming up. And we, every Thursday, have our Essential Oils Made Easy classes. This is, again, online 30 minutes. And what's super fun is we send you the oils ahead of time to experience mm -hmm. with us together as we learn. This is really for new people. If you're new to oils, this is a great way to um, learn together online, okay? And if you've had your oils for a long time and you're just starting to attend our education 
offerings, this is for you too. Yeah, this can be a really helpful refresher. We've had a, quite a few people attend it as a refresher. Mm -hmm. All right, so we will see you guys next week. I have to, It's been two hours, so I have to go apply my sunscreen and you have to go watch Patrick Sweezy videos. So see you, bye, bye everybody. <laughs>